Hey guys, it's Santana. How are you? How are you on this wonderful day? It is Wednesday and it's February and it's cold and it's going to snow this week. So because it's going to snow this week, I have to drop off packages that I get today to the post office today because I would hate for it to snow, which is going to do all of the rest of this week into next week and not ship out some packages that I could have done today when it's not snowing, when it's, the roads are clear. Like, yeah. So I'm just like, I'm gonna package some orders today. You guys are gonna see me. And yeah. So obviously follow us in on our socials. They're all linked down below in the description. Also, you should follow my thrift account at Tanner's Thrift on Instagram. I'm actually, you know, kind of successful. Okay, let me stop. No, no. I am successful and I'm doing great. Now, what's your great and my great? They may be two different things, but that's doesn't matter. It's all about my great and what I think is great. And I think I'm doing pretty great. I started in October of last year, you know, just trying to get rid of some stuff, get rid of some clothes. And now it's become like something I'm really genuinely passionate about and happy to do and provide, I don't know, clothes, items, pieces that people may not have found if they were to go look. And, you know, I've been hearing great things. People tell me great things when they get the clothes from me or when they see my drops, they're like, oh my God, I would have never thought to get this, but they get it and they, they look great in it. And it's just, it makes me feel great. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And speaking of thrifted, this is thrifted. I'm gonna be packaging up, I think two orders. I have like one pending right, no, two pending right now. But I know I have two set orders. They've already paid and they are ready to get their stuff packaged up and i actually have one item up here and one is downstairs which is where are we going and yeah this is not like an in-depth video i don't know i might it's just a lot to it but not at the same time so if i don't because my mom uses like our living room area as her office i probably will be speeding this up time lapsing so here in my room i'm gonna just explain a couple things at first i used to just package my stuff up right um, package the orders up, write my name and write the address that I'm shipping it to, and then I would take it to USPS, stand in line, and they would print out the barcode and give me the tracking number and all that, etc. etc. I realized one very, very time consuming, and because I, I'm back in school, Sinead's in school, and my mom's in, um, at work, not in school. I can't drive. I mean, I can drive. Let me reword that. I can drive, especially to the post office. I feel very comfortable driving to the post office. It's just not alone you know what i'm saying so i usually wait for them to be finished and post office close at five o'clock and usually their day is done by like 3 45 4 o'clock so imagine the line when i get there it's like 15 deep and two people working and i don't like doing that because then it has them sitting in the car and i'm standing there like so i was told and i was recommended to check out pirateship.com First of all, this is not sponsored, but if you would like, go ahead, holler at me because I'm definitely using y'all. So pirateship.com, it's where you could type in the address you're trying to ship it to, print out the labels, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a label with a tracking number because it's connected with USPS, but it also gives you like great um half price stuff, you know what I'm saying? So say I have a package that's like, I don't know, I don't really know the exact price, but say 12 ounces, right? That might range for five to six dollars at USPS, but I'm only paying three. Three with Pirate Ship, so it's a nice little deal. Also, it saves me time. I just walk in the post office, put my stuff down, boom, I'm done. So I'm gonna quickly show y'all this, and then I'm gonna move downstairs, and we're gonna time lapse this jump. I'm just gonna cover their stuff up, but. Mm. Hope I'm doing a good job, yeah. So as you can see, this is what pirate ship looks like as a, you know, pirate. And you usually put, ooh, no. You put the person's name, address, all that stuff that you would do regularly. And then it has a tracking number, which I'm covering up. And then it tells you on this side, like whether it's delivered in transit or still at the original place you dropped it off at. And it's just the same thing as USPS, basically, like you can see where it's at location wise. And then you can also check on USPS with that same tracking number. So 
it's all good. It's simple, it's not as hard because I thought it was gonna be hard. But you can also save labels and save like addresses and names if they're like consistent customers. So you don't have to keep typing in. You just click their name and it kind of all just fills in itself. And all you gotta do is say print, purchase, done. So yeah, um, again, let me just take y'all downstairs and show y'all what's really good, okay? Okay, so music will be playing soon. But this is from like March. I did film in February, like the video, but I was like, this one's way better and it's set up better. But it will be another clip at the end from February. So it's like a mixture of videos, but it's the same process. I basically just get me some paper. I do not use paper anymore. I just use twine. It just saves more time and I'm not wasting paper. But I, do, I did use paper at one point. I would fold the items. And then I would like get them the business card. And at the time I was running out of thank you cards. So I had to hand write some. But you know, it's all good. And yeah, basically it's just me doing this for like multiple items. I write out the name. Thank you. And yeah, it's just basic stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I know that that was an abrupt ending, but basically after I put the item on the scale, get the weight, usually I round it up if it's like 4.3 or 12.8, I round it to the next number. Then I import that information into Pirate Ship, like I had mentioned earlier in the video. That will give me the cost for shipping. I pay for shipping at home, so I can ultimately just take it to the post office, drop it off, they scan it boom I'm done skip the line and it just saves me a lot of time now if you would like me to do a further in-depth video on pirate ship itself just as like a website and how to use it I can definitely do that if you guys would like to see like an inventory video I can definitely do that or if you would like to see how I take pictures for drops or plan for drops I can definitely do that so if you guys are interested in any more business entrepreneur type videos definitely comment some down below or DM me via Instagram, at Tanner's Thrift, or at Santana with four A's. I'm open to any suggestions, but also if you have any suggestions for Sin and I, like any video ideas, comment those down below. Thank you guys for supporting us. Continue liking and sharing our videos as well as subscribing. Again, thanks and have a great day.